Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we're going to be looking at another item from True Utility. This is the Tiny Torch 2.0. Alright, so this is yet another item from True Utility. I have actually reviewed quite a few of their items. Uh, as from I remember, one was a scarab, which was a compact multi-tool, and the other one was a small pen that started small but then extended out to be like a full-length pen. So it does seem True Utility's focus, from what I gather, is all centered around these small, compact, everyday carry tools that are small enough to fit onto a keychain or a key ring. Okay? Alright, so here we are. Tiny torch, as you can see, it's a flashlight. Now, notice right away that um, this is more than just a retail hanger, but it's actually um, a kind of complimentary uh, key ring. And it's even uh, etched with their name there, so that's really cool. Alright, moving on, let's talk about how it fits on. It's a twist on off flashlight, so I guess we're not going to have a button, just twisting. Not my favorite, but um, I would prefer a button, but we'll see how this twist works. All right, anyway, so here, blah, blah, there's the warning from California. Probably something about cancer. Yeah, what doesn't cause cancer? All right, moving on. Uh, Tiny Torch 2.0, and it looks like it's promising us 100 lumens. Okay, and those 100 lumens are coming out of just one AAA battery. Okay, and turn it around. So, let me zoom. All right, so here they're talking about the keychain, how it fit, key ring, how they fit it on there. 100 lumens, we've seen that. Runtime, it, it promises 100% power for one hour. And of course, it, it runs on one AAA battery, which happens to have one included with it, ready to go out the box. All right, some information on the bottom, our barcode. There's our website. And then, let's see here. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's just kind of what we saw with those little icons. All right, overall impressions of the packaging, I like it. And I think they like it too because they've kept it the same for years now because I think the last time I saw it was on that little compact multi-tool. But why would you change the packaging if it works so well? So why does it work so well? Well, I feel first, let's talk about the coloring. The black and the orange, at least for me, I kind of get the association of like Caterpillar or Black & Decker. So I'm already kind of thinking tools, utility, get it done. Or you might just see it and think Halloween. I don't know, but I think it is eye-catching either way. Next, I like the fact that our items are always front and center in this transparent window, so you can see the item from the front, and when you're looking at the other side, you can see it from the back too. And how can we forget the inclusion of this ring, which doubles as the retail hanger, but is also an item once you um, go ahead and start using the main item. So it's kind of like a bonus, and I think that's really cool. And we'll see later that this is actually a pretty cool uh, key ring. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. All right, so let's start by trying to get this included ring out. I'm going to go ahead and separate. So I basically twisted this enough so that these two layers here separate. And then I can pull them apart. And then you go ahead, and if you notice, there's a kind of a clear plastic that's holding things in place. Pull that back, and ta-da, there it is. Let me zoom. All right, so there you are. Cool. And then you may notice how these are flat. As were most key rings, they're kind of more like tubes. These seem to be more like flat ribbons. But yes, it's quite tough. So, all right, super. Now let's get back to the main item. All right, so once you've opened it and separated the two halves, it's really easy to open it up. Don't even need a scissor. All right, so move it from there. Have it. I'll zoom in. All right, so we've got the logo on the side. The tail actually has a lug. And then we have this ring, which is not soldered shut, but it is fully enclosed, meaning you'd actually have to, you know, pry these apart and then bring this through the ring in order to separate it. Got this swivel joint up next. All right, and then another one of these rings. And then I guess the ring that you'll actually use to attach to uh, here or your existing key ring. All right, and you'll also notice with all these rings beyond the ring that's actually attached to your keys, it allows this to move kind of freely. So perhaps you could even swing this up wherever you have your keys attached and use the flashlight without actually needing to 
remove your keys off your belt or whatever. Okay, now let's go over to this end. No, there does there are some. These aren't really aggressive, but there are some textured ridges here. And then there's a little gap. I assume that's where we're going to be twisting to turn on. As far as grip, we do have a few of these uh, indents here, kind of like slots. So, but they do go in as opposed to coming out, so it does still say smooth overall. All right, now let's look at the actual bulb here. And there's your bulb. It is in the reflector cup. All right, now to open it, I'm going to twist in the way that increases that gap. Seems like a good plan. Okay, well there goes the um, <laughs> bulb on the front of it. Inside we have the AAA battery that they did provide. We'll see what they gave us. Alright, well the AAA battery actually says true utility, so <laughs> that's un uh, kind of unexpected, but it is um, a super power alkaline. Now I'm not sure if they actually make their own batteries or this is just a battery that they went ahead and put their name on. But either way, that's a pretty cool touch and kind of cool color too. Alright, back to the flat. Give you a look at the inside of the cap where, of course, the bulb is housed. So there's some of the circuitry. Alright. Alright, so here's an up close look at the threading. Keep in mind that this is especially important on this type of flashlight because you actually are using the twist to activate method. So you're going to be doing tightening, loosening, tightening, loosening more so on this flashlight than one that had a tail clicker or a button. It does have an O-ring here. Um, so there is that. I thought it would be helpful to give you a quick size comparison. So. What we have here is, of course, the flashlight, and then on the left, I have a typical um, pop cap from a soda bottle or a pop bottle. All right, all right, all right. So first impressions, it's basically what I expected. Um, I'm not really shocked by anything. Um, I'm not disappointed either, so that's good. Keep in mind, I haven't actually used it or tried it yet. Just going on uh, straight out of the box impression and. Um, yeah, one thing I'm noticing up here is, is if you notice, if I bring it in close here, you can see the lens is flush with the edge here. And uh, it would have been nice to have this uh, edge be a little elevated to protect the lens. It doesn't have to be an attack uh, basil or anything like that, but a little protection would have been good. And um, yeah, it doesn't have a clicker, so I mean, that's just not the way this is designed, but... Yeah, other than those two things, um, oh, oh, well, let's give it a shot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and power it up and try it out, but I thought I'd tell you um, how I'm basically going to view the performance or measure the performance of this flashlight. Now, I do have a light meter, which I will be using, so we'll get an idea of just how bright it is. But beyond that, I want to actually be able to compare it to something. So I have drawers of flashlights. I could pit almost any flashlight against this, but to be fair, I thought I'd keep it similar so the flashlight I'm going to compare this against it needs to be powered by a AAA battery has to be LED of course around the same size and made of aluminum so here it is so this flashlight you can tell again powered by AAA batteries and the, one of the first differences is it's a little bit longer but not all that much now if you're wondering what kind of flashlight this is well <laughs> it's kinda of hard to say because I had this imported and there, it came in under the name or brand of Litwood, but I've seen this exact same flashlight under quite a few different brand names. So I'm pretty sure this is a white label item, but um, it works, and I've been carrying it, so I can test to that. Now, this does have a couple features that this one doesn't appear to have. First and most obvious, it does have the clicky button on the back, and this not only, um, I like this better, but it also comes with modes. It has three modes, bright, dim, and strobe. Also, this has the ability to, there you go, so yes, this can zoom, and what the zoom does, as you probably can guess, but it um, focuses the beam tighter, or when it goes back, wider. So, so I will be comparing this against this. So let's start off by seeing what this can do. I will, for starters, I will use the supply battery that came with this flashlight, and later for the comparison test, I will be using um, 
brand new batteries that I have purchased. I just wanted to give you an idea about the weight difference between these. With the same similar battery in both, this here is 30 grams, and this, all including this here dangling, is 23 grams. All right, so we're going to test out the flashlight. If you're new to my videos, what you're looking at right now is, of course, the door, uh, the light that's present that you're seeing here. This is just a little lantern. The only reason I have this here is because I have to give something for the camera to focus on um, when I start up the recording. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away, turn on the flashlight, and shine the flashlight on the door. Now, if you wonder why I'm putting it on the door and not the wall, which is white, it's because the door will soak up um, some of the light that comes out of the flashlight enough so that the camera sensor doesn't just get overloaded by a big reflection of you know LED white light. So um, with that all being said here we go so the lantern is going away and now turning on the True Utility uh, Tiny Torch 2.0 I have the flashlight right above the camera here and aiming at the door and here we go. Okay so and it is bright, even shining at a dark surface such as that. Um, yeah, there doesn't appear to be any modes, just on and off. And again, on and off is accomplished by twisting the head portion of the flashlight. And there are no like little stops, so I don't get like a click or anything. It just the light goes off. Now, if you obviously continue to turn too much, you're going to actually open up the flashlight. So, turn it just enough till the light goes off. All right. All right, so here we go with the other flashlight. This is the white label, small, tactical uh, flashlight, AAA battery <laughs> imported. Okay, and it has three modes. I left it on high power or higher power, so the brightest of the settings. Keep in mind that this battery has been in this flashlight, and I've actually used it for um, this particular battery for a little while, not too long, but it isn't brand new. Uh, the brand new battery test will come up in a bit. So I'm just giving you an idea right here off the top. So same thing, taking away the lantern. And here we go. Small tactical clicker import flashlight. And here it is. So right off you can tell the pattern is a lot more defined. And it is also quite bright. And of course I have the zoom pulled all the way back in. If I did push out the zoom you get something like that. All right. All right, so now to test actually how bright these flashlights are, I have this device here to measure the light intensity. There's the sensor right there behind that cap. And I told you I'd be using brand new batteries. So these are two brand new AAA batteries, never been used. Uh, brand Duracell right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put one of these in each flashlight and then go ahead and have it uh, measured on here. Now keep in mind this reads in lux, so if you want to know how many lumens, um, I'll give you a couple of the parameters and you can go ahead and do the calculation for yourself. But even if you don't do the conversion, uh, a couple things to keep in mind. This flashlight here, the, this one that the review's on, they promised 100 lumens, and we're going to be using this device to, of course, take measurements from both flashlights. So we will be easily without even the conversion to tell which one is brighter, right? More Lux is brighter. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, there. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this set up. Alright, so just got back from running the test and boy, uh, there's a noticeable uh, difference. But we'll get to the numbers in just a sec. First I wanted to give you the, an idea of the setup. So for those who are interested in converting the Lux, which my numbers are in, into lumens, you can do so. So here it is. The setup, I have this sensor um, set two feet away from the light emitting source, which of course is the flashlights. The target here was set perpendicular to the oncoming beam, all right? And this sensor is about, well, it's under the cap, of course, but the sensor is a, just a little under an inch in diameter. Okay, so... Um, now we're going to get to the numbers, and on my little quick sheet, I'm calling this one here the you know um, white label bargain uh, 
tactical flashlight here. I just called this Clicky, and then of course this, what's the reviews on? I called it uh, TT 2.0 for Tiny Torch 2.0. So let's look at those numbers. And here they are. So the column on the left, that's the Clicky, and then of course Tiny Torch's numbers here, here on the right column. Now you can see I've run, I did a few runs. The first two runs, I had the ambient light in the room at about two lux, so I could just see what I was doing, so I wasn't tripping over myself. And then the bottom one here, I turned off all the lights once I saw things were in line, and then took the numbers. So, I, I mean, yeah, the difference is so obvious, it's actually kind of ridiculous. But uh, Tiny Torch uh, laying it down, putting up some good numbers. All right, so before we get to the conclusion, let me just go over a, a quick disclaimer about my use of this item, and that's to say that I've used it just enough to do this review. So pretty much what you're seeing in this video is what I used and how much I used this. So yes, not a lot, um, to say the least. So with that being said, I can't tell you if this is going to hold up for a month, a year, maybe more. Don't know. I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, not so sure about this lens up here. But I guess if you don't abuse it, that should hold up. And these links here, again, I haven't swiveled this off my belt for weeks on end, so I don't know. But it feels decently put together. Okay, so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the conclusion. Would I recommend this? Yeah, it's so small, but yeah, at the same time, it puts out so much light. And just to give you an idea, I did the... Uh, not recommended test of actually turning the light on and looking at the lens, you know, it's head on. And yeah, this is so bright, I had to close my eyes. And now this one on the other hand, I mean, I wouldn't stare at it forever, but it, it didn't hurt me to look at it, even for a short bit, as where this was eyes closed now. <laughs> so with that being said, this is very bright. Now, I, as much as I like the performance of this light, um, the design, at least for me, um, not that it looks bad, but the functionality, I really do not like this twist to activate. To me, that just means you're partially opening your light uh, to turn it off, and I just don't really get, I don't like that. I would much prefer the clicky on the back. Maybe they couldn't do that because they wanted to have it, you know, this thing going on, but yeah, it's just something. And, um, yeah, so, and of course it doesn't have modes and it doesn't have the zoom. And, I mean, this has that, but, again, you just can't argue with the light output of this little guy. So, yeah, bright little light on your keychain. How could you go wrong?